question. Tyler from Colorado, thanks for calling tonight. My question is, how do you adjust the feed ration for different for differences in hay from different parts of the country for the sheep? Okay. I'll or for take, the lambs. take a stab at it and I'll let Clay <laughs> chime in. Um, uh, when we're talking about uh, breeding sheep, hay is important, um, fiber and roughage, uh, more important than in, than in market lambs. But when we're talking about market lambs, um, number one thing to keep in mind is that they're ruminants and we need to keep their rumen healthy. And if we do that, then we can feed them uh, various top dresses and, and other things. It's when their rumen gets out of whack because of a lack of fiber and long stem fiber, then, then we have some problems like wool biting and, and that type of thing. So m my advice is about a fourth uh, of a, a, a square bale, uh, you take a, uh, a small square bale, a fourth of a flake per day of a good quality alfalfa hay or about a double handful of a good quality loose alfalfa. Not pellets, not ground, but loose that's one to one and a half to two inches of stem. That's the important thing. And that's how much fiber roughage uh, a, a lamb needs. So, you know, when we talk about differences throughout the country, and there are, there are nutri nutrient differences in hay in California, in Idaho, in, mm -hmm. in Florida, in Texas. Um, that's not nearly as important in market lambs because we're not feeding them very much. We still want to maintain kind of a tubular shape. We want some body depth and some rib shape and some base width and, and, and more so than we used to. Uh, they used to kind of look like one gutted weenie dogs and you know what I'm talking about. And we want more than that these days. But still, we don't want to feed so much hay that, it, that they just you know, get too much spring of rib mm -hmm. and too much belly. Mm -hmm. And that double handful is, is about all they need today. Did you want to add anything? Yeah, and I, I think from a behavioral perspective, it's important to, to add some hay to the diet. And of course, uh, Kevin talked about differences in the country. In the West Coast, we have high quality alfalfa hay, so that's what we feed out there. And we don't need a whole lot, just enough so we don't get wool biting between lambs because that necessity for fiber to kind of produce that fiber mat mm -hmm. in the room. And so uh, some hay is, is critical, I think, to behavior and, and growth and performance. At the same time, I don't think it's as critical. The diets of the Honor Show Lamb Starter and the Honor Show Lamb Grower, they've been designed really to feed without roughage, but yet we still uh, you know, feed a roughage for behavioral and, and maximizing performance as well.